Welcome to our Gemini to your Akashic reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. These are for the present and the near future. And some of you may feel like it hasn't really come into the present just 100. Um, and that's because it's on its way in. Okay, so it does happen. Okay, so we have up in the air. The muse is in reverse. We have blossom. Beautiful judgment card there with manifest sacral chakra and rebuild. So up in the air means that there's something up in the air. You want that balloon to come down to the ground. Um, whatever is up in the air, you really need to figure out what it is because it is hidden from you. Okay. This is a, an important situation that, that seems hidden. Um, it's like you can't put your hand on it. You know something's there, but I don't know how to bring that balloon to me. What is hidden from me? What are you hiding from me? So you might know that someone is hiding from you, um, hiding something from you, right? It's not clear what exactly it is. Um, we have the judgment over here. So whatever it is, the judgment is going to bring that, that balloon to you anyways. And that's literally what it's saying. That judgment day will come. Okay, you have to have a transformation and maybe even take a new direction to get that balloon down. Tra talking about the possibilities of what's going on around you. It's saying, I want this balloon to come to me because I'm not sure exactly what could be taking place within this balloon. So it is definitely something that's going on, my friends, that does seem, um, it even can cause confusion. So you have to be aware of that. It could even be a person um, that might be hiding something. We'll figure that out. Um from you and you know something's going on, but you are not sure what it is, right? So it's like you have to stretch out and try to grab that balloon to, to get what you need um, from it. And you really want this because you know that this is the desire to get this because whatever it is, man, whatever it is, it's very important that you have this. It's the most important thing. Everybody's story is going to be a little bit different, but that's definitely something you need to reach out and grab somehow or another. Use your intuition to do so. Um, figure out what it is. Let's see what this card says. It says it's 15. That's interesting. Hold on, guys. This says it's this is this number 15, but number 15 in my card deck is... Oh, never mind, guys. I was in the wrong book. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Talk about, like, delay, right? Sorry about that. I was like, what the... Because I was... Okay. I grabbed the wrong book, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so... This one says that it's a time for heightened resourcefulness and inventfulness. So if you've been trying to give birth to some kind of creative project and you can't figure out what it is, this, no matter what it is, this being up in the air is kind of giving you a lot of pains. Um, and it's giving you some kind of block. Um, even in the near future over here, it says you're trying your hardest to still pass this phase and still trying to get this whatever is in the air for you to get down. So it does feel like it's still kind of a writer's, what they call a writer's block. So if you guys are actually writing, you're still going to have writer's block because you can't seem to bring it down. Um, but for others of you, it's just, this keeps triggering, uh, triggering, it just keeps triggering your senses. It's like no matter what is going on now, it's going to take a while before you can get this down. You're going to have to be, become more receptive and gather your resources around to figure out what is going on, okay? Then the time for you will be soon. So it's like, it's like this is up in the air, guys, and in the near future, it's saying you still don't have a handle on this. You're still trying to manifest this. You're still trying to figure out what this is that's hidden. You're still trying to figure out how to bring this balloon down. Um, and then you find that it's time to rebuild. And the rebuild over here is just saying, well, yeah, it's time to rebuild. It's time to maybe just let it go um, and just allow it to do what it's going to do. 
But you know what? It's also crazy about this card is it might end up just revealing itself. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they just might all of a sudden let the cat out of the bag. I'm just saying, right? Because really what it feels like is over here, you're trying to figure out what is hit. I feel like it's a person who's hiding something from you. Take that how it resonates. Unless you, you know, everybody has their own situation, but I'm going to go with this one for a second. You're still over here in the near future, which is going to be like in September, still trying to figure this out. You're still trying to, and you're manifesting hard. Tell me what it is. But your manifestation, it feels like is going to come in with the, it's almost like the judgment over here is like going to kind of be awakening. Man, I can't wait to see the tarot cards on this one because in seriousness, what it looks like is you're manifesting the answer, the truth, because you have the desire to know the truth over here, Taurus to Gemini. And then all of a sudden it reveals itself. Now, whether or not this person lets the cat out of the bag to someone else and it comes out, it doesn't matter how it slips out, but it comes straight to you. So it's, yeah, it collapses upon itself. And then there's going to be this awareness where you're trying to use your awareness here and manifesting. You're going to have the awareness. And you know what I feel like it is? I feel like the awareness of itself is kind of like... There's a lot of intuition going on over here. So what I feel like is it's kind of still kind of hidden, but your awareness says, aha, I know what you're talking about. It's not straight forward, forward. It collapses on itself and it's revealed, but I don't believe it's straightforward because it's showing you have to use an awareness. So all of a sudden your intuition is going to say, I know what the hell you're talking about. I've been looking for this answer forever. And it just, bam, intuitively comes. You know what they're talking about. So it will reveal itself, even though it won't be like 100%, you know, um, direct. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like maybe hidden messages, um, hidden secrets. Um, maybe it's even in um, some kind of like, I don't know, you guys, they talk on their phones, you know, and they use emojis or something. You know what I'm saying? And it could be just some emoji that's there or something, but it catches your eye and it makes your intuition go off and says, got you. I know what you're talking about. That will bring all the clarity um, to you. Wow. That's crazy. So it's, um, it's almost like all this time you're going to try to your hardest here when it's actually going to, um, <laughs> the secret's going to be out. Let's put it that way. could be even, you know, something just as, as clear as, well, go ahead and meet me at the mall, um, you know, and I'll be there at one. And you know that they're cheating. And all of a sudden you're like, meet who at the mall? Oh, you know, such and such. And you're like, oh, I knew it. And then boom, all that time you just knew it. And you're like, hmm, why are they? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because right now you're crutching. You're looking for everything. You're kind of licking your wounds, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. You're very determined to figure this out. Walk on this crutch and uh, get your awareness and trying to fix, um, or I'm sorry, not fix something, but figure out this situation. It's causing internal battles within yourself, trying to figure this out. <clears throat> wow. So over here on the manifest... And all you really want is the peace and the happiness. You even might have the page of coins. You might even have the, the help of a um, Capricorn or a Virgo to get down to this situation, trying to bring that balloon down. So it feels like you have someone around you who is trying to support the situation and be at service of you. Maybe they're the ones that are kind of watching as well. Um, or, you know, or just you can say helping, watching, however. Um, over on the manifest, you're holding tight to this manifestation, trying to bring this together in the near future. You're really taking control over here of how you're manifesting this. Really a lot of prayers are going on and a lot of action is taken. Yeah, it's because you feel stuck, but while you're stuck, you're using your meditation. So that's very good. And that's really what it is because you're not just meditating, you're manifesting while meditating with the rebuild. Yep, there it is, three of swords. Here it comes, right? Here it comes. So you're saying, okay, here we go. We have the three of swords. So the three of swords is saying, yeah, because I'm manifesting on how you're hurting me, what you're leaving up in the air, how you're, you know, stabbing me in the back, take it how it, res you know, how it resonates, making me sad, um, causing all this conflict, sadness, isolation, you, you just name it, you know. But there will be victory to this situation. 
or someone spying on them. It could be because you're spying on them and you find it. And that could be where the awareness comes through and they kind of just, uh, maybe you're spying and they kind of collapse on themselves. But somebody is definitely spying over here and it is a Gemini Libra card. So it could literally be you, my friends, who say, you know what, I've had enough of this. I'm following you to figure out what you're doing. And then they kind of reveal itself and it just kind of, there it is. It's just kind of falls open. Like I said, they let the cat out of the bag. Um, either that or you might have somebody else watching them or somebody else might be watching them and maybe it's your your page of coins over here um, who comes back to tell you, yep, I seen what was going on. Um, however it is, with the page of swords, it's totally telling you something's revealed, spying, watching, listening, um, paying attention. Yeah, could be messages. You guys could be watching their text messages coming in um, and bam, there it is. somebody is listening to a conversation that they're having. However it is, it's definitely going to be revealed. So it feels like your manifestation will be coming in and you're going to know the truth. And the truth is what? Their lies. That's what pretty much, okay. Their fabrications, their lies, their secrets, um, things that were hidden from you. That's what it is here up in the air. I'm telling you, this whole story is about something that they're hiding from you. Um, and yeah, all their lies, secrets, and hidden agendas, and all their stuff is going to be coming through. So, ending cycles and ending passion with the four of wands upside down. And this is because you perceive things now and you know things and now you can look at things and refocus your attention. And now you can see exactly what's going on. And for some of you, it is a third party situation. Ouch, which is gonna cause a tower. So, okay. But otherwise, for others of you, it's just gonna see the perception of you lying to me. I knew you were lying to me. You were keeping this up in the air from me, whatever it was, but it's gonna cause a tower moment and you have the tower on top of the what? The tower underneath everything was the tower. So you're having the awareness of what's going on around you and you're watching everything kind of um, tumble but it will give you the joy and the happiness that you need. Why? Because now you're aware of the situation. You can feel like you can move on. So it's actually going to be more joyous for you because you're going to have that. I knew something was going on. Now I know where I can go and I can do the things I need to do. And it'll bring in more inspiration for you to travel on the path you need to be on without having to deal with this anymore. Now it doesn't mean that people won't be sad, right? It's just that the inner self is going to be a little more happy because now you feel like you can bring that balloon back towards you. And your inspiration and healing for the day is take time to acknowledge the subtle changes in your spiritual evolution. So as you're doing the judgment over here, and you're really using your chakras and, and all of your higher um, intuitions and stuff, just remember of your spiritual evolution. And, you know, the more that you become aware of things that you're doing, the more um, healing it will become for you. So it'll help your healing processes. And here, look at this. The card underneath that, you guys, was devote yourself to discovering the highest truths. Now, isn't that the truth? So, okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.